from the Steel City of Pittsburgh comes our live telecast. We're here today for our third broadcast of the season. Both of these teams ready to add a victory to their record as the Jaguars square off against the Steelers. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Spielman is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Wyatt. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. John, nobody's looking for a defensive struggle out there as we have two of the best offenses in the NFL going head-to-head. -head. The thing about both these teams is they're not just one dimension. If something doesn't work, they make the adjustment and they come at you in another way. I'm looking for lots of big plays in this one. Going to the air on first down. Going for the deep man. Ooh, nearly picked off. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Come on! Watch the play. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. All right, let's go! Come on! Drops back. Pressure coming. Throwing. And he hits his target. Gray stops him at the 32-yard line. Johnny he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nothing, nothing. The Steelers with a four-man front. Running to the left side. Sharp step on. Stewart comes up to make the play at the 33-yard line. When he sees something open to the inside, he has to take it. This defense has a lot of those quick linebackers and safety. And that makes it very difficult to run to the outside against them. Second and, Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Barber, the man in motion. Long throw. Almost picked off. Trying to throw a deep one, but incomplete. And then I'll face third down. Third and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Nickelback in this time. Steps up. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. Fumble. The Steelers pick it up. The defense came up with a ball on that one. the defense. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. From the start, from the start. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. They ain't got nothing. Yeah, you think. Hands it off to the back. Number 50 comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. Good call there, John. The draw caught them off guard. And here's the thing. Running draw plays softens up the defense and slows down the pass rush. When you can run the draw for good yardage, you really open things up for the passing game. Lewis, the deep man. Let's go, Hand it off. Number 50 is there for the tackle. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Gain of four. Second and six. Ball on the 36 yard line. Defense, get ready. Let's go. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. They'll bring the blitz. Throwing. Drops the interception. Edwards had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. 
Third and six. Ball on the 36 yard line. The Jaguars with a four man front. Dropping back with the throw. Nice adjustment. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 13. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. Gets rid of it. Broken up. And he has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Shepard was his intended target. Second and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Keep it up. Watch each other's back. Let's do our thing. Let's do our Only thing. one man in the backfield. And he gets the delayed handle. Lewis puts the handoff on the delay. Brings it ahead for about a yard. They're 12 yards away from the end zone. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Dropping back, gets the pass off. Number 50 comes up to make the play. At the five. Seven yard gain on the play. will take the lead. The, the attack, attack is good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Spielman comes in to kick off. back deep to return. This one is taken by Wyatt. Jacksonville trying to push this one all the way down the field for the lead. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. They'll pass on first down. Throws it. Dishman makes the tackle. If you give him time, he'll find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind him. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He hands it off. Carter is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. you got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Get it, get it, get it. It's all. Keep it off. Stewart comes up to make the play at the 43. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. With a counter play. Carson is there on the stop at the 41. Well, Carrier stops short. That'll probably lead to a punt. Shepard sets up to run back the punt.
from the 20-yard line. Shepard manages almost nothing on the return, going down at the 20-yard line. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. They line up in the I formation. Hill with a man in motion. It's the toss to the left. The 30, the 40, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He gets all the way in for the touchdown. Look at the speed this guy has. But it's not all about his speed. Watch him break through a tackle and just keep going downfield. That was one heck of a run. The extra point attempt is good. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result is a trip across the goal line and a TD on the board. Spielman is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is handled by Wyatt. The offense takes over after they were unable to get any points on their last drive. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Dropping back and pass on first down with the throw nearly intercepted. The Brady two was the intended receiver on that play. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. He was tipped. Number 31 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. On the cover. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Make it over your head. Go make a play. Out of the shotgun. Stepping up, throws it, and he makes the grab. Stewart is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. Lane fires complete, and it's good for a first down. He made a great read at the line. He knew he'd have to get it out of there fast, and he did. First Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Get it, get it, get it. Hey, let's go. The Steelers with a four-man front. Dropping back the pass on first down. Pressure gets the pass off. The pass falls incomplete. Good defense that time, and it saves them from giving up a big play. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Jackson Barber is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Barber runs it through the middle again of about six. Third down and four coming up on this one. The 39-yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Throwing. And it's 
incomplete. Right. Comes up to make the play. That play won't help their third down conversion percentage today. I wonder what the receiver was thinking. Running a route that wasn't going to put him past the first down marker anyway. Stokes is ready to punt this one away. Shepard will go back to accept this punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Ball on their own 21. Ball on the 21 yard line. They got nothing. The Jaguars come out in a 4 3. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass off. They're going to spot this one at the 32. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Ball on their own 32. Lewis, the deep man. Hill sends a man in motion. Closing in, throwing. This one falls incomplete. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Watson moves in motion. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. Edwards had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Third and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. Stay deeper than deeper. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Drops back. Pressure coming. Going deep. He has it. Kirkland is there on the stop at the 21. On third and long, the defense is playing pass all the way. They just can't come up with a stop. Watch it here. The quarterback looks and fires one, and the defense is left to wonder how they let him off the hook. Hill sends a man in motion. He hands it off. Agnew is there for the tackle at the 14. Lewis has had a lot of running room out there. Second, Second and, and three. three coming Ball up here. 14 yard line. Here we go, baby. No Has started off quickly as the first quarter the comes to an end with the score. Pittsburgh 10. Jackson Jack zero. The the team's team's the team's size, the and we'll start the second quarter. Second Down inside the 15. Keep the throttle down. Set. Hut. Looks like somebody got off the line a Dead little ball. early here. Ball start on the offense. Number 67. Young Still was flagged for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. Second and eight. Ball on the 19-yard line. Hey, watch that screen. Here we come, man. And they're threatening Here we again with the ball inside the 20. Here comes the blitz. He goes up and grabs it. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Watch his catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skill sometimes 
cause matchup problems for the defense. The extra point attempt is good. And with that right there, they've now scored 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop them. Spielman is just about ready to kick this one away. Booming kick downfield. This one is handled by Wyatt. The Jaguars face an uphill battle as they begin this drive. At the 20. The first and 10. will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Hey, let's go. Receives the handoff. Gray is there on the stop at the 21-yard line. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. And a pickup of about two. It's second down and nine to go. The Steelers with a four-man front. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. They're going to spot this one at the 40-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. Lane with a strong arm, and that gets him a first down. Yeah, that was a heck of a pass. I mean, you could just hear that ball sizzling in the air. First, first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Watch the snap down. So we gonna take it. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Dishman is there on the stop at the 50-yard line. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. First Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. So low! So low! Hold the rope! The Jaguars come out in the bunch formation. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Any first down play needs to yield some kind of yard. You don't want second and long too many times. Two yard game. Soul right around midfield. Let's go, boys. They soft, man. Schaefer, the man in motion. He's mine, he's mine. Blue down, blue down. Drops back. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Nixon comes up to make the play at the 34-yard line. Carter is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline, and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. First Ball on the 34-yard line. The, the Steelers come out in a 4-3. Throwing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Carswell was his intended target. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Let's go. Defense, get ready. Will, will, will. The Steelers with a four-man front. Get some slack going. With the throw. Love was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Nickelback in this time. Throwing. Slides down and gets away. He makes the catch, but that's it. No more yardage and a probable field goal try here. Oh, 
comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. The Throw to the uprights is and good. good. Following the field goal, the score is 17-3. Steelers. Number 15, in to kick this one off. Number 86. From the five. The passing game is really working for them. We saw that on their last possession as they worked their way down the field for a touchdown. And let's see if they can do it again here. The Steelers will start the drive at the 23-yard line. First and ten. Let's go, let's go. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand it off to the back. Number 50. He's there on the stop. At the 25. Lewis paddles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Second and eight. Ball on the 25-yard line. Drops back. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He tried to float one out there. Carter was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. Jacksonville looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Rowing. And he, oh, he, he had it and lost it incomplete. Gray almost always makes those type of catches, is unable to pull that one in, and now they're faced with fourth down. Yeah, he makes difficult catches look easy. At that time, he reversed it. He made an easy one seem hard. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. From the 40-yard line. Zimmer appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. They'll take over at the 46-yard line. First and 10. They do our thing. They do our thing. The Steelers come out of a nickel pack. He gets the handoff on the delay. Gray is there on the stop at the 47-yard line. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Second and three. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. He gets the carry. Gets the pass off. It's batted away. That's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. And Brady, too, was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Third and three. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. With the pass, almost picked off. Two tipped passes in a row. Shepard looks like he's ready for the return. Waves for the fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the twenty yard line. Watch out. It's goal time, baby. Come on. Lewis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. 
play. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. the back ball is there on the stop at the 17. you know johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play he's all about effort his motor's always running at 100 percent and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly and 13. ball on the 17 yard line the jaguars line up in the quarter defense dropping back throws it and it's intercepted the 30. A beautiful interception by McCoy. Yeah, he was back there watching the quarterback the whole way. And he just beat the receiver to the ball. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 26. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. He crosses it left. Carson is there for the tackle at the 18-yard line. Barber is able to pick up good yardage after taking the toss. Let's say seven yards. Second and two coming up here. Get some points on this drive and are in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. They line up in the I formation. Hand off to the tailback. They can't get the blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Looking to run it here. Price comes up to make the play at the three-yard line. Trying to run it in on second and goal. No dice. It's third and goal at the three. Only one man back. Schaefer, the motion man. They're just three yards away from the end zone. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. To the end zone, and it's intercepted. Lane throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man, but the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the 20. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. With the throw, wide receiver has it. And again, he demonstrates his great hands. You know, when a quarterback has a guy like this who can catch about any ball he throws, he can become kind of a security blanket. If he gets in trouble or he starts feeling pressure, he can look in his direction because he has so much Ball confidence. On the 32 yard line. It's on. Blue game, blue game. Jacksonville lines up in a 4-3. Rolling out to his right with the pass. Drops the interception. The pass Gray. was his intended target. Gray, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. 
Lewis, the deep man. Follow, Hill follow, sends follow. a man in motion. Bring it up, bring it up. Come on. The blitz is on. Under pressure. Time the Jaguars the call defense. a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. This guy seems to make big plays in every game that I watch him play. They need to do a better job of sliding the protection over to his side. Third They're looking now at third and long after the sack. Nickelback in this time. Watson goes in motion. Looking for something long. Nearly intercepted. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. Receiver on the play. Wyatt is the deep return man. The 39-yard line. If they want to make this a game, they have to buckle down, avoid mistakes, and work hard to dig themselves out of this hole. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 40-yard line. First and 10. From the gun, he'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Price comes up to make the play at the 38-yard line. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. And it keeps the same defense on the field. The rush is on. Throws it. And it's intercepted. is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 33-yard line. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Dropping back to pass on first down. Going long. He has it. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 29. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ball on the 29-yard line. Watch out. The Jaguars come out on a nickel pack. Throws it. He hits his receiver. This one will be spotted at the 19. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. Inside the red zone. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Hey, watch the screen. He'll pass on first down. With the pass, and the catch is made. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping them. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. First down and goal to go. Pressure. Throws one up in the end zone. Touchdown. Steelers. And he swings it in there for the touchdown. Spielman comes in to attempt the point after. The, the point the after is good. good. So following that touchdown, the score is 24 to 3. Steelers.
Pittsburgh is lined up for the kickoff. Wyatt back deep to return. This one is taken by Wyatt. The Jaguars have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. And here's where efficiency is a key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. First and 10. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Fires this one deep. He made the catch. They'll spot this one at the 44. He laid a good hit on him there and recorded his eighth tackle of the game. They exploit the running back linebacker matchup for a big game. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Throws on the run. And he makes the grab. It's on the ground. The Steelers scoop it up. Preventing turnovers should be a priority of the offense. They're just not executing out there today. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Give it to the halfback. Number 26 comes up to make the play at the 43-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Second and nine. Ball on the 43-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Hill with a man in motion. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 24 to 3. Steelers. The Jaguars. Three. Shepard. He's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. Number 15. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is fielded by Shepard. This team has played well and had a solid first half. And now they find themselves in great position to win the game. The Steelers will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Keep moving. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand it off. Duncan comes up to make the play. Lewis busted through for a few tough yards. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. The blitz is on. Gets the pass off. The wide receiver has it. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 32. A lot of pressure on the quarterback, but he still got away a good pass. Yeah, and here's one thing. He's one of the smartest guys in football at the quarterback position. He's always watching film and studying defenses, and you see all that hard work paying off on plays like that. Jacksonville lines up in a fourth grade. Hand it off. Number 50 is the air on the stop at the 32-yard line. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Watch out. Watch the Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. Edwards brings him down at the 33-yard line. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Third and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Closing in. Gets the pass off. This one will be spotted at the 36-yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. This is one of those guys that you can't let get behind you. 
You have to give up some of those shorter completions underneath. First Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. Go low! Go low! The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Number 50 is there on the stop at the 27. He's looked pretty good so far. It's going to be up to the defensive coordinator to make some adjustments and find a way to slow him down. Second, Second and one, one coming up. Ball on the 27 yard line. They give it to the halfback. Agnew comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. They blitz in the backfire. Yeah, that's a chance you take. You're hoping to get some penetration and hit him in the backfield. But if you miss, there isn't a lot of help at the next level to keep him from first picking up 10. the first down. Ball on the 20 yard line. Lewis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Throwing. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's up to the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. And this is the ninth play of this drive. on the 20-yard line. They have a big, big lead, and they're on the move again inside the 20. Pressure coming. Floats one into the end zone. They dropped additional people into the secondary, but still generated an excellent pass rush. And that gives you a lot of flexibility calling your defense. If the guys up front are good at creating pressure, then you don't have to blitz as often, giving you the ability to double cover an opponent's best receiver. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. Throwing a strike to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Fourth down here is kind of a lot better than a turnover. Which is what the defense should have had on that play. This will be a 38-yard field goal attempt. The veteran connecting for the field goal. They were able to pick up a few first downs there to give their kicker a chance. And he was able to do the rest to make it an effective drive. Spielman comes in to kick off. Back deep to return. This one is fielded by Wyatt. The Jaguars need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 18. First and 10. At the 18 yard level. First and 10. The Steelers come out of a nickel package. Round. Dishman is there for the tackle at the 24. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry, but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Only one man in the backfield. Schaefer moves in motion. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. He's lucky he got that one off, John. The defense brought everyone on the blitz. They just went after the quarterback, but his quick release allowed him to escape a sack. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. With the adjustment. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Hey, let's go one deep. 
take it. Hold the look. Watch him in. Watch out. No pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. From the start, from the start. Barber, the lone back. Schaefer, the man in motion. Do something, do something. Dropping back. They reached him just as he was throwing. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. What screen? This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Under pressure, on the move. He hits his receiver. Carson is there on the stop. Good throw there on a first down. You know, an NFL quarterback has to have a strong arm to be successful. He doesn't necessarily need to be able to throw it 70 yards, but he has to put some zip in the ball and squeeze it into tight places. Ball on the 43-yard line. So we're going to take it. Here we go. Here we go. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Danny, Danny, Danny. Get it started. We're talking about Ryan. Another the counter play. Gray comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 44-yard line. Everything you've got. The Steelers line up in the quarter defense. Deep throw. And he can't hang up. So they lose out on an opportunity to pick up solid yardage. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Number 31 is the deep back. Under 10, 10. The encroachment number 90. So he's calling for down. encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. Ninth play of this drive. Ball right around the 49 yard line. The Steelers come out in the quarter defense. Uses the pump. Pressure. What a move by the defensive lineman to get the sack. Now that is a heck of a play. When you drop everyone back in coverage and you still get the sack, you have two things. First, you have great coverage downfield. Second, you have guys up front who can really rush the passer. Stokes comes into the game for the punt. Shepard is back to receive this kick. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18 yard line. Ball on their own 18. At the 18 yard line. First and 10. Jackson comes out in a 4 3. Floyd hauls him down behind the line. So, after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and 15. The lineup with six defensive backs. Let's go, let's go. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Agnew is there on the stop at the 24. Game run the Let me play. tell you, they really try and get him the ball as much as possible because he can break away and make people miss. 
Third, Third down and, and four. four coming up Ball on this one. 24 yard line. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Great to the wide receiver. Floyd comes up to make the play. That's a 28 yard line. He's having one of his best games out there. He's caught just about everything thrown at him. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28 yard line. Out of the eye formation. On the carry. Oh, he's there for the tackle at the 28. The defensive tackle stops him at the line of scrimmage. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28 yard Watch the play. Valentine is the deep back. They give it to the halfback. Duncan is there on the stop at the 33. Valentine rumbles forward for a gain of four. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. Play football. Play two quarters. Two quarters. Jacksonville with six defensive backs. Hand it off. Oh, tackles him. And they won't get the first. That will keep the chains moving. Yeah, that makes two times in this drive they've given up the first down on third down. As a defensive coordinator, giving up those types of yards will drive you absolutely nuts. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Get it up. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Off to the tailback, gets it. Jackson comes up to make the play. Valentine with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. Turn it out now. Let's go now. Let's go. Lewis, the lone back. Hand it off to the back. Stiff arm to the ground. Number 50 is there on the stop at the 46. We have an injured player. Looks like he'll make his way to the sideline under his own power. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. At the end of three, the score is 27 to three. Steelers. 27. Jacksonville. And we'll start the fourth quarter. It's third down, two to go. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Can't get it from behind. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and he keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Well, earlier we saw the injured player heading back to the locker room. And right now they don't know how serious it is. But his return in this game is doubtful. Direction. Kirkland is there for the tackle at the 43 yard line. He's been a major factor in the game plan and now has over 125 yards rushing. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Jacksonville goes with a four man front. Crosses it left. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He always displays great awareness, and he gets in there and brings him down for a loss. I'll tell you, he might be one of the smartest linebackers in the NFL right now. He anticipates, closes, then boom. He drags the ball carrier down for a loss. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel pack with the carry. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, 
but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. Zimmer returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Here we go, baby. Valentine, the deep back. Watson goes in motion. They get into the halfback. Jackson is there on the stunt. Valentine takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on the 32 yard line. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand it off. They'll spot this one at the 31-yard line. He has been a monster on defense. That tackle is his 10th of the game. On third down, they need to get it to the 26 to convert. Hill starts out of the shotgun. Let's go, defense. Angle off to the back. Humphrey is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. Steele comes into the game to try the field goal. Through the uprights and good. The Steelers have it all working now as they continue to expand their lead. Pittsburgh is lined up for the kickoff. Why? Back to return. He got all of that one. This one is handled by Wyatt. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Pump faking. Rosen almost picked off. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Lane goes back into the game after being injured earlier. The Steelers come out on a nickel packet. Closing in. Boom! And hey, where's that truck come from? Five-yard loss on the play. Third down, and they have a long way to go. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. Fires this one deep. It's caught. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. They were faced with third and a mile, but convert for a touchdown. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The Jaguars still find themselves in a very deep hole. They're going to need a lot of luck to even have a chance at coming back in this one. They don't have time to kick it away and go on defense, so they're going for the onside kick. Onside kick. Pittsburgh recovers it. They should be able to put this one on ice. First 
Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Ball is there on the stop. Gain of five on the play. Five-yard gain on the play. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ball on the 34-yard line. Defense, get ready. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Touchdown, Steelers. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. attempt is good the Steelers continue to increase their lead He's just about ready to kick this one away. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by Wyatt. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. Jacksonville will start the drive at the 28-yard line. First and 10. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. With a counter play. Bray is there on the stop at the 26-yard line. Barb couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. It's second down and a long way to go. On the 26-yard line. Let's run, man. Not today. The Steelers with a four-man front. Steps up. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. Drops the interception. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Third and 11. Ball on the 26-yard line. Pressure throws it. This pass is incomplete. The defense dug in their cleats and held their ground on that series of down. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. From the 36-yard line. 36-yard punt. Return for a gain of one yard. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They soft, man. The Jaguars with a four-man front. This one is handed off. Number 90 is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. John, the coaches are always talking about his intensity and awareness. And those are the type of plays where you see those qualities really showing themselves. He's a cornerstone of this defense. And he always seems to be in the right position to make the play. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Hands it off. Humphrey is there on the stop at the 42-yard line. So that play goes for about six. Third and six. 
Ball on the 42 yard line. Watch the man. Watch the third. Jacksonville lines up in a 4 3. Let's go, D. Let's go. Let's go. Be good. Hand it off. Ball comes up to make the play. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Punt number three is upcoming. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. At the 15 yard line. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 15 yard line. First and 10. All on us, y'all. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Here they come. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. This one will be spotted at the 28-yard line. That's the fourth stop he's made today. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. The receiver with a lot of open room. And they're going without a huddle. Throwing. And it's caught. We're going to spot this one at the 48. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. And they go with a no huddle. Dropping back. Closing in. Throws on the move. Incomplete pass. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Third and five. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Drops back. Pressure coming. Throwing. Stewart comes up to make the play. At the 50. Kramer doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up fourth down. Stokes will come in now to punt it away. Shepard sets up, waiting for the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 10-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. Here we come. Keep moving. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. He brought some extra guys up on the run blitz. They got penetration, and they shut the play down. Second and long coming up here. On the 10 yard line. Let's turn it up, D. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Turn hard and fast, baby. Be careful. Nothing. They don't get nothing. This one is handed off. Number 50 is there for the tackle at the 11 yard line. One yard gain on that play. Ball on their own 11. Ball on the 11 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Turn over, baby. Stay both now. Get it, get it, get it. Hey. Watch the ball. Hut. 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 Contain them. Let's go. Hut. 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 From the start. From the start. Hut. Here we come. He's going to cross on. 
Make them dump it over. This game That's reaches the its conclusion with the, the final, final score. score. Pittsburgh, 37. Jacksonville, 10. Jacksonville, 10. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.